though. So the fact that they haven't been able to do it regularly has been a bit of a shame. But it all has coincided with the fact that Adam22 decided to start beefing with all AED and Tyrell and stuff, or not even start beefing. He basically ramped it up a little bit, right? Those guys are obviously firing shots the first way, but he hasn't been present for a lot of the jumper shows. He hasn't actually been there when they have recorded some. And the last time they recorded one was two weeks ago. So now that everything has happened, what has happened, everything's transpired, you know, the community guys, Ace Boys, they kind of pressed um, Desto Dub when he was at a Sexy Red concert for laughing when Adam22 was going on rants, talking about T-Rail and stuff, whatever it may be. It's looking like those guys are ramping up into the way of like, hey, anybody associated with No Jumper, if we see them outside, we're going to put it on them. So I guess in that respect, Adam got scared, he got spooked, and he hasn't been popping into no jumper shows if anything if you want to say something he'll come on a new show he'll jump on and say something but he would never sit down and actually sit on the no jumper show and actually go through and talk what he would talk about even the whack adam and whack show he kind of ran away from that too because he was scared of all the drama but it's been confirmed now it has now been confirmed courtesy of no jumper subreddit adam 22 has confirmed now that the no jumper show is cancelled it's done for for the foreseeable future he's now trying to make it seem as if he's cancelled it because you know he's too busy he's got loads of stuff going on but it seems like he's cancelled no jumper show because of the pressure and all the stuff that's been happening behind the scenes um with all the drama that he's basically been fueling with all his fucking nonsense ramps and stuff and now instead of standing up for it you know, sort of, sort of standing on his shit, holding his fucking nuts. He's now running it. He's now tucking tail and running, and essentially leaving everybody to deal with the situation. Because now he's gonna act like, oh, I'm over it. I'm done. I've said my piece. I've cancelled the show. But now everybody else is gonna be suffering from the from his fucking reckless behavior and shit, which is really fucking dumb. But this is Adam basically saying, no jumper show is over. All right. So everybody wants to know what's going on with the no jumper show. Here's my response. I've been doing so many fucking interviews lately. Like when I look at my calendar this week alone, it's like two, three interviews every single day. And then I also have to do the plug talk shit on top of it. Plus trying to do meetings and business shit and all that kind of stuff. And at a certain point, it's just like, I don't really have the fucking energy to really do a great job at the weekly podcast thing and just, you know, have all my takes lined up and really do it on the level that I want to do it. So as a result, I kind of just decided I'm going to chill for a little while. And uh, if I feel motivated to do it in the future or if the interviews slow down or whatever, then I guess I'll probably bring it back. But as far as right now, I've just been if I have something I really want to say, I say it on the news. But other than that, I just really haven't felt motivated to do it. So that that's some coward shit. That's some straight up coward buster shit. And again, I don't have any problem with the beef i think it is what it is um i think it's redacted anyway right they're all middle-aged men with kids and shit beefing over podcast numbers and views and streams but my issue i've always had with people like this is if you're gonna speak like a tough guy you have to follow through with tough guy shit you can't then start like pretending that you was never on that time start crying start running away start you know pretending like it wasn't you hiding at throwing your stone throwing stones and hiding your hands i fucking detest that shit i detest any level of just you know bringing everything to physical violence is not necessary you don't need to just because we're arguing it doesn't need to be a fight but you can't start talking crazy about guns and about security and about you know no one can touch me and all this shit and then suddenly it gets put into action the things no suddenly you get some pushback in what you're saying and then suddenly now you become oh i don't have any opinions anymore the man with all the opinions the man sharing all the fucking views the man that didn't not have a thing to say suddenly doesn't have anything to say suddenly he needs time to line up his hot takes now he doesn't just make them on he doesn't just come up with them on the cuff like everyone else does no he needs time to think of his hot takes he needs to do his hot, hot take homework come on bro and the thing about no jumper too no one cares about his interviews like no jumper platform went under mainly based on adam 22's re refusal to do interviews he stopped doing interviews because he kind of felt like he was probably bigger than the interview stuff he wanted to grow no jumper to be a little bit more like bar stool and stuff so the context strategy changed cool ad tyrell all those guys you know happen to bump into him and stuff and they end up kind of relaunching no jumper kind of no jumper 2.0 and stuff and it was kind of fun at the time but still during that era like he didn't manage the talent well he didn't lead well he wasn't you know a good boss 
And essentially, I still think fundamentally, my ish, my main belief is that I think he's the one that fucked it. I think if he was a good enough leader, he could have definitely weathered that storm. He could have definitely put everybody in one room, hashed out all the issues and got the content back where it needed to be again. But because he couldn't act like a boss, because he, could, because he couldn't act like a manager, he couldn't act like a leader and started getting into all the little petty beefs and shit and wasn't able to kind of, you know, tell those guys to not do certain things and draw a line under the sand with beefs or whatever it may be. It kind of led to No Jumper kind of imploding and now he's scrambling to save it and now what? Saving it means... For the love of Lena shows. Saving it now means talking about plug talk all the time. Saving it now means what? Creating drama out of nothing on the fucking news show. Saving it like, come on, bro. He has everything to blame for the demise of No Jumper. And it's been even worse, this whole arc that he's been on now where he's trying to, you know, put the full court press on those other dudes in from community and Ace Boys and back on Fig. Cause it's like what are you doing? You're starting a beef or you're instigating a beef, finding the fuels to a beef that you know you can't finish. Like, why would you even do that? Just focus on the fucking content. Like, it would make more sense if he started beefing with those guys based on numbers only. Hey, my streams are doing better than yours. I'm better than this. I'm, okay, cool. Let's talk about that sort of stuff. But when they went to him trying to talk street talk and talk like a bully, like a fuck, I was like, Adam, what are you doing, brother? Like, come on, man. And of course, you know, stuff happened with Desto Dub, which I think was unfortunate and really probably unfair. I think you shouldn't be, you know, pressed and maybe nearly beaten up because you laughed, right? That's a bit mean. <laughs> but imagine like the wake up call that he had in that situation. Because he knows that Desto Dub is cool with a lot of those guys from Ace Boys and stuff, right? He's probably knows them. He's given them clothes and shit. He's known in the area. I think he's from whatever those areas. I don't know, whatever. He's known them. So he saw how they put, he saw how they treat Desto Dub and he's black. So imagine what they would do to Adam 22 if they bumped into him, you know? He probably knew, okay, cool. If they're willing to put their friendship, actual friendship and street ties to one side with this guy, imagine what they'll do to me. Some culture vulture dude, right? Imagine what they'll do to me, the white devil. So that's why he's really scared and really worried. But again, it's all his own fault. He didn't need to go that far. He did too much. He just did too much, bro. I understand he was annoyed and pissed off. t Rail and AD were kind of, you know, dancing on his grave when he went on the honeymoon and he wasn't doing content. I understand. But he should have taken some time away during his honeymoon to actually rant back at them, have a little back and forth and then just leave it. Draw a line under the sand. The moment he told them to not mention his name and they stopped mentioning his name and then he kept going at them, that's when it was always going to be turned up. So now no jumper show is over. Um, it looks like Adam is a bit of a coward and he's run away, which is not surprising, to be fair. We've always known Adam's a bit of a coward in that respect. He barks a lot, says a lot of stuff, but when actually people put it on to him in real life, he definitely runs away and tucks his tail. So that's never a surprise. The only thing I'm really upset about and really, you know, that's kind of sad is that he's put other people in danger. That's the issue. Not him. He's okay. He's always going to be fine. It's the fact that he's put other people in danger. Like, what's going to happen if these guys bump into Josh? At, at target or something right what, what will happen if they bump into like i don't know even sharp he didn't laugh and say that something like he's put other people who have nothing to do with the beef in harm's way because he just wanted to be the big bad bully dude and you know he didn't follow through he's now scared and no jumper shows over so i guess it kind of is what it is isn't it? i guess it kind of is what the fuck it is